now let's familiarize ourselves with the program window. These are your tracks, your video track, and your audio tracks. Now you're not limited to one video track and you're not limited to one audio track, but for a simple edit, this is the way we're going to keep it. This little red button here, arm track, this is basically a safety switch, just like if you were any of you were used to audio recording, just like an audio recording. Um, basically, if this is not clicked, any edits you do do not happen to this track. This is really good if, say, you're trying to paste some audio over something you got going on here and you're pulling it from another video well if you edit it and you uncheck this it's just going to alter the audio it's not going to overwrite the video so that is a great little feature these are your level faders and that's not showing up too good so let's just zoom out you have level faders of 100 down to nothing that's going to be a fade to black when you do that and then here, your faders will control the level, the audio level. And here's another little thing to draw your attention to. Gang faders. Usually you're going to use this on your audio, because if you have audio tracks together like these two, and you have this clicked, any move you make on here is going to happen on the track below it as well. and you can use your uh, wheel when you have your mouse over this. So, first thing you're going to want to do when you make a project is define your project. Don't worry, sounds hard, sounds com complicated and technical, it's not. Settings, format. Okay, audio. Unless you're doing something special, you can leave this left and right. One and two. You can also put in like speaker three, speaker four or five, or four or five and you know make it uh, <coughs> surround sound frame rate NTSC standard 29.97 so you can leave that alone 720 by 480 is NTS standard unless you're doing something high resolution or you want a different res resolution out of your project you can leave that alone uh, and this comes in presets so you don't even have to remember those just hey 720 by 480 color model you can leave this alone because it's in default RGBA 8-bit you want to make sure it has that A there if it's ever in doubt because that gives you an alpha channel and that'll let you do blending and overlays and titles and all kinds of cool stuff. Aspect ratio, well I do widescreen from my camera so 16 by 9 and again you can change here 4 to 3 if you're shooting regular format. Interlaced mode, leave that non-interlaced, I will show you why later. So we have all this set up that is going to be what our project is. Let's click apply and OK. <clears throat> Next thing we want to do is click on file and actually load the files that we are going to be using to make our project. And again I keep all mine on my auxiliary drive so let's go to media, Similera projects, let's call it editing in Similera. Oops. <laughs> Tutorial. And these are the clips we have to choose from. So we're going to highlight all of them. Now then, this is not going to say create new resources only when you start off. This lets you do several different things. Replace current project is going to take whatever clip you have selected up top and overwrite whatever you have going on with it only. Replace current project and concatenate tracks is going to take, say we select several of them, um, <clears throat> put these in order, play them back to back, and replace whatever you have going on. Append in new tracks is going to add these at your insertion point. In this case, we are at seven seconds uh, in new tracks new audio and video tracks concatenate to existed tracks you know don't worry about this um, here is you would use this if you're doing like a slideshow so you could go in and 
put your insertion point at the beginning or wherever you want to start it and select a whole bunch of images and say concatenate to existing tracks boom it'll paste all of them in but there's a better way to do that don't uh, don't worry about that pasted insertion point of course will take whatever you have highlighted up here and paste it right at seven seconds which is where our insertion point is create new resources only is going to stick these <coughs> over here in the media under the resources window in the media we're working with so that is what we want to do boom now it's probably going to do some indexing and then you'll have your clips <laughs>